Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday number 83, I believe is today. And for those of you who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have that's Monk related to this email right here. And I critique it. No one is going to judge you. You can do PvP, PvE. I've had it all. I've had Windwalker Monk. Twos, threes, RBGs, Mythic Plus, um, rating. I take it all. Please send me your gameplay. No one's going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. We're just here to try to get better. So with that said, today we have Pan X, who says, let me uh, load up one of the games, who says, uh, here are some gameplays for you. Uh, it's my first season as Mistweaver. Wow. <sighs> you picked a good one. Um, my gear is mainly Corthia and PvP gear. So I'm assuming your, your item level is probably like 220, 220, maybe less. Um, I'm missing Cloud of Focus because I can't farm it right now. That really sucks. Uh, you definitely want to make that as soon as you can. And I was, rel oh, I was relatively good back in the day and hit 2.4 in Legion, which is sick. That's when I got my first 2.4. Uh, actually, it was Wad, but in Legion, I was really happy because uh, Green Enchant. Um, and Ardrude and BFA and Shadowlands, I played Holy Pally and peaked at 2.2. Now I make more mistakes and sometimes I get lost. Mistweaver is very, very unforgiving. Um, you cannot make any, I mean, other healers, you can make mistakes, maybe one or two. Mistweaver, you can't. Uh, th there is no room for error when it comes to Mistweaver, um, which is good because if you're good at Mistweaver or if you like learn it, then it's really feels rewarding. But like if we just just started to learn Mistweaver, it's really, really difficult. I'm working on my targeting position so far. I'm looking forward to improve. That's great, man. I'm really happy to have your gameplay. Uh, so let me move my water bottle so we can go full screen. I think this is full screen. Perfect. Here we go. So also lucky for you, I primarily just play Mistweaver, Arms Warrior in twos. So I I know what to play in uh, almost every matchup. Um, Feral Frost Mage. So I think your talents are fine. I would honestly, I would... I queued into Fire Mage Feral Druid. I dropped Chrysalis and went Zen Focus T just because if you get locked out on top of polys and clones, it's it's kind of hard. But it's completely up to you. The short cocoon is nice. Oh. Do it. Do it. Do it. I would also run Diffused Magic in case in perfect in case this team tries to go you with maldix oh you have forty-one thousand. you almost have forty-one thousand. so you're like two you're 220 yeah hell yeah all right cool great oh nice we got 246 trinket one low ring 100 what the 128 percent mastery 19 percent versus is a little low but teams don't really know how much you have have reverse totally sorry this is my cat baxter i know you might not be able to see him but maybe we can say hi no peace shy all right make sure he doesn't mean anything um yeah, no, I mean, this looks fine. Like, 128 mastery is great. Low versatility, obviously, when it gets a 30% versatility threshold. But overall, your gear seems pretty solid. So, um, the only thing I would say, kind of, I know that your versatility is low. So, when you have more versatility in, in health, uh, keep in mind that I normally use save Fleshcraft for CC. Like, to avoid CC, because you have Eminence. Also, in the opener here... Oh, never mind. No, you're playing against a Frost Mage. Never mind, never mind. Versus Fire Mages, you don't want to stack up in the opener because they get the double DB into ring. But kill target is normally the Mage because the Ferals don't die. If he's, if you can kill the Feral if he is Night Fae, and you'll know that if he convokes or if he blinks away with Soul Shape, you can hit the Feral. If the Feral is Necrolord, I actually don't think he dies ever with Necrolord Shield, with um, Ooze at 50% health, with the off healing that they have. So just keep that in mind. It just depends on the covenant that they're on. Careful of your statue being out of your line here too, but we get a little crack on the mage. All right, I'm sure we'll kill him eventually. Uh, careful with your statue. I would cancel your statue right... Oh, perfect. Good, good, great. No more icicles for this guy. All right. Oh, oh by the way, uh, something you might not have noticed uh, the feral is really close. I think the feral is right here. You know that because he has the um, Aspect of the lead it's something it, of the leader or something like that This is the buff that ferals give their teammates when they're close by you're gonna see the mage lose this buff right now Right after you cast that you're gonna see him lose this buff That means that the feral is pushing in so that means the feral is somewhere over here
Getting icicles off your statue. Uh, they're gonna be able to get. He also has a brain freeze proc. So, and then how many? Is that five icicles? So this mage is gonna have a lot of damage for you, warrior. Be careful. We're also playing eminence, and we're right on top of report. So if the if the feral opens up with a rake on you, he's gonna be able to get the cyclone. I would recommend. Honestly, you guys, you guys need to be the aggressors here because they have a lot of self healing. So. If you just want to one for one the mage at the start, do it. Just make sure you're not stacked on top of your port because if you get raked, you're gonna you're not gonna have a lot of fun. So here's stun. Could be convoke here. No? Okay. Perfect. Alright, there's stun. So yeah, the mage we knew has a lot the mage has a lot of damage because there was a brain freeze proc and I think there was five icicles ready for you. So just be aware of that. I see that we have a war banner from your warrior, which is really good. Um I think he war bannered one of the maim stuns. Let me see. I think the maim stun, he gets the full rake. I think he puts the banner down. Nope. Okay. My bad. It's still, I think it's still a good banner, potentially. Uh, maybe if he was waiting for a poly on him. There's revival. Nice. We immune the shackle. Great. And this is a good good time for Zen Focus T. Uh, nice bone dust brew. Careful. Nice to spell on the poly. So, yeah, you're good with the spells. Keeping doing missed up is great. Um, and we get ice block there instantly, which is great. Nice double leg sweep too after the shatter. Probably gonna get a trinket from the Pharaoh here, which we do. And then yeah, shackle is great. This team doesn't know. So something to keep in mind is decursing stops the cast time because the slow is a curse. So just keep that in mind. If you're the best, ideally, I don't think these guys knew, but ideally your setup is gonna be try and incap the mage and leg sweep so that they can't decurse it. But I mean, pretty solid. Careful, I know. Oh, I know, I know he's in touch death range and I know you're good at the game, but I would definitely say you got to pull back. Like it sucks. Like, but if this guy has convoke, you're dead. All right. Oh my God. He didn't get lucky with the procs. Nice. We got life cocoon. Perfect. Thank God. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, we have fortifying brew. That's our Zen focus T, which is great. Uh, DR stun on you. I think we just need to roll back to our port and kind of just chill. That's Thorn. So try not to hit into it. Spinning crane kick. And yeah. We're out of range. Oh, okay. We have a port down. Never mind. Uh, we juke the feral. We have to juke the mage. It, this is one of those awkward spots where he could try to blink CSU. I would also dispel. Um, right here, this is infected claw from the feral druid, and it's a disease that you can dispel if they expect into it, which they most likely are. Um, it reduces healing by I think 25% or something like that, 26%. So just keep that in mind. Uh, dispel it often like especially when it gets to two stacks like right now it's at two stacks just to spell it it's kind of like um rogue poisons wound poison so dispel it and then start healing on yourself just because obviously you're just losing out on a lot of healing great fear from your warrior though uh feral has no trinket great storm bolt as well um good job juke and the mage incap the mage maybe just stop polys beautiful no that was a great game um i don't i don't think i have any complaints about this game that was that was really solid we held our cooldowns Kept him doing mist up. You know how to heal in the mist weaver. That's great. Uh, be careful when you're not in range of port though. I always find myself chasing DPS that are below 15% health and it never ever works out for me. Like ever. It always always backfires. So that really sucks, but great job with the opener. And just remember to dispel infected claws just because it's, it's actually just insane how much healing it stops. So, but yeah, no, first day, really good. All right. So we got Mistweaver Warrior versus Holy Pally Warrior. It's a good thing you're playing with a better healer. <laughs> um, this matchup, uh, what talents are we picking? Can I see talents? No? Okay, let me see. Talents first. Okay, here we go. Eminence, Chrysalis, Disarm. Really good talents. I would, what I tend to do, and now it depends on who your warrior is going to be hitting. There are some warriors that swear they go Holy Pally and then they'll always win. There are some warriors that just want to hit the other warrior. So it depends on what your warrior wants to hit. Personally, my warrior likes to hit other warriors. And so I play Song of Chiji versus like Warrior X, you know, healer. So keep that in mind. You know, it just it depends on who your warrior is hitting. But Song of Chiji is also pretty good in this matchup. So keep that in mind. Eminence is good too. Uh, especially if they're playing Repentance. If they're playing Repentance, you just kind of shut down that go every time with the cooldown on Hodge. I think Hodge is a one minute cooldown. So you'll have port for every single Hodge rep. So. Yeah, no, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, get our port down. Statue up. Good.
good start we're hitting the warrior it looks like starting on the warrior going for an in cap here and let's see this is just a nice time to go for a song like your warriors getting gets to storm on their warrior but we're gonna we'll get a leg sweep here which is nice do some damage careful though because he might oh really good maldict here he does get the reflect on it and the bop um something you can do uh you're not playing the talent but if, if you were playing diffuse magic which it, this is a really cool interaction sorry my cat um i'm just trying to get out um, a really cool interaction is if the warrior reflects your maledict you can actually press diffuse magic and reflect it back onto him so even though he reflected your maledict you could reflect it back to him um that's why i tend to play diffuse magic versus every comp even warriors you know feral jirds rogues anything like even if they're not magical damage i still play it because on the off chance that they're playing the maldic it's not even an off chance like there's a good chance that they're playing because it it's so good right now you can reflect it back to them or use it so or if they use it on you there's something you can at least turn it around on them so there is avatar kind of scary you're probably gonna get feared off this rep I, wait what i this happens to me a lot. I'll pour a trap, but I'll still get trapped. It's really annoying. I didn't even realize he was going for a rep. We get Hodge, which is fine. And then we rep. Oh, the cast went off. Okay, yeah. Yeah, port is bugged where you can port while incapped for some reason. You don't even need eminence talent. You just can. Um, so just just like kind of wait. Usually I wait until like they're just about to get it and then I pour it. But try to give it a little bit more like a second just so they actually try to commit to using it um this is some kind of cooldown uh it looks like we use parry oh we use trinket too a little bit of an overlap there but that's fine it's avatar it's and parry so my man my man was committed he was like i'm going in for the kill but yeah keep renewing mist on yourself too by the way not just your teammate because war against anything because you never know when teams are going to try to swap to you. You never know when teams are going to get some kind of cleave pressure. So just um, keep that in mind. Even healers can do damage to you. So just keep that in mind when when you're healing. Keep your doing mist on yourself if you have the time for it. Uh, we're losing a little bit of uptime here. All right. All right. We dropped our renewing mist though. So just make sure when you can. Nice bone dust brew. Get a renewing mist out whenever you can. All right. I'm still in my Okay. And yeah. Uh, nice stun. We were looking for an in cap, I would say. Good. Perfect. Nice disarm. And the. Warrior's trying to hit you. Looks like he's a Venthyr warrior, so he's going to have mobility to hit you. But I've never really run into an issue where a Venthyr warrior has been able to kill me. It doesn't happen too often. Uh, we do get stunned there. That's ignore pain from the warrior. And we have our new mist up on both of us, which is great. Great fleshcraft. If he kicks it, you could just free cast. If he doesn't, you just have free CC, which is great. So good fleshcraft there. Uh, Pally's pushing in. Great in cap on him. And this is why I kind of like going for a, like playing song. Do you, like I'm sure you understand. See it now. Going for a rep on you gets it. This is why I kind of wait to use fleshcraft until CC because I feel like monks are really susceptible to CC. Um, but you see why I kind of like song of Chigi in this matchup because I feel like in the end it's even if your warrior wants to hit the pally, it's very it's not going to happen often in a game and even then i don't think you're going to get a kill in the pally so having song of chiji as just like an extra win condition is really nice to have um even if you do hit the warrior a little bit it's still fine so sorry my cat i don't know if you can see my cat is literally right here what's up buddy i gave you dinner all right we got bone dust brew we'll probably use it soon uh that's yulon perfect hopefully we get a manatee with it which is great and the warrior is just super low. Uh, there's a fear on us. Kind of aggressive. We have no trinket. They do have Hodge. Pally trinkets. Uh, we still have life cocoon. But we don't need to use it right now. Because we have Yulon. Uh, looking for CC. We might get bubble here. Or bop. But I don't think it's going to matter. Double leg sweep here. We got bubble. Nice. And then hopefully touch death. Bubble sack. So that's a little unfortunate. But still a lot, ton of pressure. Blade storm from, your warrior, from the warrior. Which means he can't get through your ring of peace. Nice drop. Pally can't get through it. Storm bolt on you. Uh, we could port to make the pally work for it. Here comes the rep potentially. It doesn't matter because we're close enough to the pillar. Great job, Crackling Jade Lightning. Keep me Mystic Touch up. Repent, careful. Great job, avoiding that. Great job. Um, we definitely do not want to be stacked up on a warrior though. Like I know we're really far ahead right now. Great in cap on the pally. Um, maybe should have waited for a storm bolt, but either way it's fine. Oh, Rally's falling, that's why. Rally, Rally's like falling. Um, but warriors can like cleave and they just have so much momentum. So just be careful when stacking up. That's second bop. Nice stun on the pally. We have nothing to deal with bops though. Um, your warrior can shatter if he has it. I don't know if he shattered the, the bubble from before or not, but 
honestly. Still looking we're really good. Mana wise, we're like, it's not even close. So you just, at this point, you're just telling your teammate, just live, like just live. We'll be fine. He's looking for a drink right now. Uh, repentance, careful. Yeah, careful not to, warrior breaks it, thank God. All right, nice in cap. Hopefully get a kill here, touch of death. Get a rising sun kick, nice drop. Well played. Careful not to stack up too much on the warrior. Uh, just because you can see how low you get, it, it, it's crazy. Like, you, the warrior could be hitting your warrior, but cleave damage on you is just so much higher because you have, like, no armor, you have no versatility. Uh, I would just be a little bit more careful, but overall, nah, pretty solid. I think you also had your trinket at the end uh, to use just to finish off the kill, but overall, really good. Think about playing Song of Chiji if you're comfortable healing on a Mistweaver. Uh, Song of Chiji is just another layer of something you can bring to the table, especially when you queue into matchups where, like, sure, they can potentially kill you, but I really don't think, like, they're they're gonna kill you like they're not gonna kill you you're playing eminence you you know you have a ton of mobility it's a venter warrior but you have a warrior that can help you out so i think you're fine these are good talents i would definitely play diffuse magic though because demon hunter damage it basically comes down to fell rush and the hunt and both of that damage is magic or nature Nature, magic, doesn't matter. It diffuse magic affects that, so it just reduces the damage you take. Peace Weaver is great. You can actually immune the damage from the hunt and the dot with um revival with Peace Weaver. So a lot of utility. Really good. It lines up with the hunt perfectly. A minute and a half cooldown. So keep that in mind. Try to hold on to it for the hunt. I know you're normally in CC when it happens, but yeah. Uh we'll see what we got. You got that mount? That's sick. I wish I got that mount. So yeah, right now, just put Mystic Touch up. There's the hunt instantly. What? Okay. Parry from your war. Per Parry's fine. And the Demon Hunter already trinketed. Incap on the Druid here would be insane. But I don't think it matters too much. Yeah, just incap the Druid. Maybe Rob off the edge. Oh, miss the Rob. That's fine. Uh, we, at oh, we are out of range of port. Incap that. Nice. Good incap. Make sure you keep... It's very easy, and I, I I still run into this issue. It's very easy to fall behind with your renewing mists and like your healing, even like especially when you're going for CC. It, when you're trying to kite away, it's really it can be really frustrating. But always make sure you keep renewing mist on you and your teammate uh, at all times. Like if you're going for an in cap, go for an in cap on the druid, put a renewing mist out, and then leg sweep. You know, and then get a renew another renewing mist out. You have no downtime on a mystery. You have no time to like breathe. You need to always be putting hots out. Thankfully, this demon hunter does have the hunt. Nice fear to stop that cyclone um, from your warrior. Really good. And right now, yeah, we're just chilling right now, trying to uh, trying to heal through this demon hunter damage. Stormbolt on the druid. I think we're trying to get an in cap, but I don't think we have it. Yeah, we didn't have in cap. So right now, keep your new mist out. Druid is pushing in, and you can kind of see why I like to hold. I like to hold my fleshcraft in the opener. Again, there are some comps that could potentially kill you in the opener in threes, like Rogue Mage. Um, in twos, I don't think Demon Hunter is going to kill you in the opener. That's why I like to hold my fleshcraft for these situations where this Druid is trying to box you out. Nice in cap, and then there, he might try to go for a Cyclone off that, and you just have fleshcraft to avoid it like that's why i kind of like it we get kicked from demon hunter uh range of cyclone which is perfect druid or demon hunter soul shapes to get to you which means he's not going to have it we are in range of our eminence so i would just pour it there's no ursus vortex um actually the druid missed the uh, vortex which is really good uh stun perfect and right now this is really good leg sweep that this is normally the where demon hunter matchups go like they can't kill a warrior really, so they just go to you. I don't know how that Rob did not knock him off the edge. Uh, put your Mystic Touch on the Druid here would be really helpful for him. Uh, the, here comes the Hunt again. Diffuse Magic helps with it. Revival helps with it. So whichever one you have is really good. Uh, the Demon Hunter kicks your Fleshcraft, which is excellent for you. Uh, big in cap on your Warrior. I don't think he has Zerker Rage for it, so. You're doing great. And what you can do at this point, if the Demon Hunter is really going to do this, is put, and this is what I do, uh, put your port in the middle of the map and drop down. 
just do it. Um, anytime he tries to get to you, just jump down. If he ever follows you, just port up and roll to the other side of the map. If he doesn't, just roll up on the opposite end and you'll be fine. Um, you have to make this demon hunter. It's it's hard to just eat damage the whole time. So yeah, that's what I would do. It's really easy to uh, it's really. It makes it really difficult for demon hunters to get any pressure on you. And then you every time he swaps your warrior, he has like ignore pain and defensive. So that's worked out for me at least. But yeah, you're renewing misses dropping on your warrior. Uh, make sure you keep that out. Uh, yeah, kicked into stun here. This is a little scary. Uh, we have life cocoon. Okay, that's fine. We have leg sweep here. Nice. If we get trinket from the demon hunter, you have leg sweep. Uh, demon hunter can be a kill target. The demon hunters can absolutely die in a leg sweep. So, okay, there's in cap. Beautiful. Make sure you keep doing mist on your warrior. Great. The double leg sweep here. Beautiful. Druid, I guess Druid could die too. Nice mystic touch. Touch of death. Touch. Oh, nice job. Pod. Darkness. You could drop it if you have it. Nice. Beautiful. Um, the only thing this game is don't be afraid to jump down. You know, other healers, you never want to jump down. You know, shaman, priests, pallies, druids probably can. Yeah, they, they have a lot of mobility. But monks, don't, don't be afraid to drop down and let the demon hunter make the choice. You know, make it make him make the wrong decision. If he jumps down to get to you, you port up, roll to the other side of the map. Like if you jump down, he jumps after you, you port, roll. If he doesn't, you just you have your port in the middle of the map. You you walk up on the ramp, and then you're just max range healing your warrior. And he, he's not going to kill a warrior because the warrior has reflect, parry, rally, like so many ways to deal with uh, demon hunter damage. So keep that in mind, and you'll be fine. Um, again, you, this map is the best for Miss Weavers and monks in general, just because you can jump down and never really worry about it you know no, don't worry about dying so we got oh disc warrior and this is another one where you could play song of chiji actually i do play song of chiji versus this um you don't have to for sure but i would say eventually you win base in this matchup eventually you win especially and let me tell you when you play when you get cloud of focus it's a whole new game it I can I promise you your mana is already good your healing is already great it's a, it's a whole new game with cloud of focus I'm serious it's great so in this matchup it, it's I don't say it's not a free win because they could, there's definitely times where if they get the fears and the storm bolts and, and all that and the uh, mind controls they could definitely kill you or your warrior but for the most part you just have to live and the disc ooms that's that's pretty much it so keep that in mind just live in this matchup so if you don't want to play song you don't have to but i like playing i like feeling useful you know um sorry one second i was talking man oh man i could just talk about miss weaver all day man all right what were what are our talents uh eminence chrysalis peace weaver yeah that's fine yeah this is good i would play song but you don't have to bringing peace is probably overall better but i think song of chi can work because warriors have very limited mobility and you don't have a whole lot of cc there's an in cap there Par oh my god we actually got leg sweep we went through the warrior i got the leg sweep on the parry which is nice storm on the priest and we got the rop which is perfect no, i can't paint sub or anything get a mystic touch oh the priest actually got the paint sub off okay we're already so ahead except the minus the fact that they have trinkets like so here's this is one of those situations where they could definitely win your warrior like really goes in there uh again you guys are so far ahead you just got paint sub from the priest you just got parry from the warrior all they have left is trinkets that's it so and dome from the priest but i mean besides that you guys are very far ahead and yeah this don't throw don't throw the game don't throw the game you could revival too to immune this by the way you could use revival to dispel the trinkets and make you your teammate immune to the the absorption shield a uh, big heal here careful of fear yeah i would probably get an enveloping mist or something uh this position is really awkward because of this ramp right here is just like it sucks it really sucks so it kind of breaks your LOS and your statue still on your line which is good we're getting a lot of clean you, you see eventually you're gonna win because your your warrior is hitting two targets and their warrior is only hitting one so really good we don't have any cooldowns though i don't i think we don't yeah we don't have parry here comes our is that avatar 
that looked like avatar there's in cap careful of the trinket fear definitely probably gonna shrink no okay um priest actually doesn't trinket and great shackle here from you priest might go for a dispel yep there's the spell from the priest stormbolt on you can definitely port the fear if he gets close enough reflect on the warrior so overall we're still far ahead neither of us have cooldowns you have disarm though so keep that in mind uh next time you see any damage or next stormbolt normally i try to disarm a stormbolt you know if my warriors in the stormbolt i'll try to disarm it so this parry something i don't know if you know um disarm completely negates um parry from warriors so if you disarm the warrior there's it's not doing anything the parry isn't doing anything so just keep that in mind something a little cool about disarm and mistweavers so good disarm there um your warrior gets disarmed probably pretty decent i guess your warrior can't do much damage though uh careful careful for pushing into priests because you can see if you just play max range the priest will never get a fear on you and never in a million years this priest get a fear on you if you just play max range even with the storm bolt there's just no chance like the priest just doesn't have the mobility he's not using dwarf shadows aggressively either which is good for you um yeah and your warrior just needs to chill like you, mana wise you guys are so far ahead cooldown wise you have your life cocoon back you're getting parry back so you guys are very far ahead priest is just getting this mana is not looking good dwarf shadows nice job avoiding it nice in cap into a leg sweep almost got the double rapture from the priest fear onto you definitely don't want to be stacked versus a warrior though here comes the fear uh i think we trinketed that yeah okay we have bone dust brew coming up we still have life cocoon no trinket though uh nice fear on the priest so hopefully follow it up with an in cap if we have it nice drop do damage yeah rising sun gain to touch of death beautiful great yeah no really great maybe looking to look into song of chiji it just helps end the game much faster but overall man really really solid games uh play max range make sure your warrior doesn't push in too hard because that opener was really scary but um no overall man that was great games great game seriously like yeah you know how to heal got the rotation down just stay positioned far away heal um flesh craft i Versus some comps like Rogue Mage and Jungle where they might go with the hard opener on you. You could use Fleshcraft in the starting room. I personally hold on to my Fleshcraft until I see CC coming when the game starts. Just because teams really aren't going to kill you. I don't think with Eminence and if you're positioned right. So overall, great games. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone watching. And uh, that is pretty much it. If you have any more gameplay, thank you. Thank you, Pan. Uh, please send them in to me. I I enjoyed it a lot. So thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. But that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.